Hi everybody, Rochelle here from Quebec CQD. Today I'm going to be answering the question, how many mbunas can you put in a fish tank? Stay tuned! So before we get started, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I post a new video every week, so make sure not to miss a single one. Now back to the subject! Before I get started with giving you all this information, I want to just take a little moment to say this, that everybody's experience in fish keeping is different. These are rules of thumb, guidelines. If ever your experience is different from what I said and you had success, good for you! The information I'm giving you in this video is to create an ideal environment for your fish. And just because something might have worked for you, it might not work for most fish keepers. But this is the information that I have gathered over years of experience to explain really what works for most people <laughs> and what makes sense, obviously, for your fish. So let's go! The question how many fish to keep in an aquarium is way too complex. This is why I'm making this video specifically for embunas, because every fish is different. The answer one inch per gallon is just simplistic and does not apply to most African cichlid tanks. Most embunas grow to about four or five inches, but you can't keep them in a four or five gallon tank. There are rules to follow. First of all, keep in mind that the minimum number of embunas you're gonna keep is six, six being very low, six to eight. Any lower number of embunas you keep might result in a lot of aggression in your tank. The minimum tank size for embunas is 30 gallons, 30 US gallons. But there are many exceptions to this rule. Actually, some certain fish like the Pseudotrophius crabro, Labeotrophius trewavasi, and the Metria clima estere, all these fish grow to at least six inches. So they need a minimum of 45 gallon tanks. So how do you know which is which? Well, before buying your fish, research their requirements. I will post a link in the video description to Cichlid Forums, their profile section. I find a lot of useful information on there and it's helped me out a lot in my research. There are also books that can help you. I like the Ad Cunnings books a lot, but they are kind of hard to find. In order to observe the Mbuna's natural behavior as well as just have a harmonious tank, keep embunas in schools of at least three to four fish. I always suggest four, not three. Well, because three you'll usually try to get one male and two females, whereas for four you would get two males and two females. This is actually non-conventional, usually everyone will suggest three, but I like four. And let me tell you why. Well, in their natural behavior, males they like to be dominant. And just being one male and two females, well, they have nobody to dominate. So having a second male, they will create a hierarchy between them. The dominant male will not kill the dominated one. I mean, it could happen, don't get me wrong, but in most cases it doesn't. And they will live harmoniously like this. The real reason is not just so your alpha male can color up. It's more of a logistics uh, reason. Most fish stores for their supply of fish rely either on local breeders or importers and these supplies tend to change. If you have a rare fish and you lose a male, chances are you might not be able to find a new one soon enough. If you have two males at least, well you have an extra male, you're not just stuck with two females. Ever since I've been suggesting the four mbunas instead of three to my clientele, I've noticed so much less drama and so much less panic when people will lose a fish. They're a lot less sad because at least they have that extra one. Keep in mind that supplies change and it's just so much easier and gives you so much more peace of mind to have two males instead of one. Always respecting your fish's minimum tank requirements. Add 8 to 12 embunas for 30 US gallons of water. So the more fish you add to your tank, the more harmonious it'll be. It's just like that. The less embunas you have, they get really territorial and they can be really aggressive, stressing us out because every time we look at our tank, they're always fighting. Of course, if you choose the bigger embunas, such as those I mentioned earlier, the Crabro, Estere, or the, um, the Trevovasi, if ever you add these fish, you know, make sure you have a big enough tank for them. And if you only have big fish, maybe add a little less to your 
more near the eight per 30 gallons instead of the 12, which is more like, let's say you have the Masani or Sinot Silapia, which stay smaller. The more fish you have, the bigger fish you have, well, the more bio load you're putting on your filter and in your tank. If you overstock your tank or if you have really big fish, you're gonna want to either do more water changes, but the more reasonable option is to not necessarily make more, but at once, keep it at once a week, but instead of making a 25% water change, let's say do 33%. Never go 50% water changes. It's, you'll rarely need that, unless of course you have nitrate problems or stuff like that. And by overpopulate, I mean adding 10 fish or more per 30 gallons. Eight to 10 fish, that's normal population. And also if you're overpopulating your tank, add extra filtration especially for the oxygenation. You're gonna have to have that water moving a lot. They need a lot more air because they're using a lot more. My favorite options are obviously, number one, adding an extra filter. That's the best, like a hang-on or a canister. Option number two, a sponge filter, which is a great add, even though it's a little bit bulky, but it is a lifesaver. I made a whole video about it. Go check it out. Or the third option, which is a little more slick, is the circulation pump or bubbler. There's the bubbler as well. Yeah, don't forget the bubbler. That's pretty basic. You always forget the basic stuff, right? So that's it. Eight to 12 imbunas for 30 gallons of water. Respect the male-female ratios. Um, add them in schools. Have good regular maintenance habits. And you'll have happy fish for a very long time. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video and it was able to help you out a little bit. If you like this video, well, there is plenty more where that came from. Subscribe to my channel. I post a new video on every Thursday. Also, if you want more fishy content in between my weekly videos, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, on Twitter, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all the fish I have for sale. I ship throughout Canada. If you like this fabulous Cichlid Geek t-shirt that I've been sporting throughout the video, well, you can get it in my Teespring store. All the sales help me out a lot and really encourage me to continue doing what it is I'm doing. So thank you to everyone who encourages me in my store and online. You guys are the best. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.